Welcome back to my channel, Technology in the Future, for weeks. Drone fans have been scanning DJI's official feeds, expecting some sort of hint about the Mini 5 Pro yet. There's been nothing. No teaser videos, no event countdown, not. Even a shadowy product silhouette, complete silence. But when it seemed like the wait would drag on without answers, reliable leaker Jasper Allen stepped in with a huge reveal. His leak gives us the clearest look yet at DJI's next compact, Powerhouse. And in this breakdown we'll cover the new details, performance upgrades, and what it all means for filmmakers, travelers, and aerial photography lovers. Why the silence? The first twist in this story is that DJI appears to have postponed the Mini 5 Pro's launch window. That explains the lack of official promotion. While that's a bit disappointing, the silver lining is that detailed product renders Box art and partial specs have now surfaced. These aren't vague rumors. These are high-quality images and packaging shots that strongly suggest the Mini 5 Pro is ready. It's just waiting for the right release moment. Packaging and variance photos of the retail box have been circulating. Online, and while the first set looked blurry and unconvincing, further investigation confirmed they were genuine. The design points to two main bundles, a Flymore combo with the RCN3 controller, and a Flymore combo plus with the upgraded RC2 unit. This packaging leak is one of the clearest signals yet that production is already underway. Weight and size still a mini. Interestingly, the box highlights ultralight and foldable, but doesn't mention the usual sub 249 grams weight label that DJI proudly displays on its mini models. This omission suggests the Mini 5 Pro might be slightly heavier, possibly Due to its upgraded 1-inch image sensor, bigger sensor requires larger optics and a more robust gimbal, which naturally add weight. This could make it the first mini-series drone to step outside the ultralight. Classification camera enhancements the leaked specs point to a 1-inch sensor with improved low-light handling, enhanced dynamic range, and better overall clarity. For both photos and video, frame rates are also getting a boost with 4,000 capture at up to 120 FPS, compared to the Mini 4 Pro's 100 FPS ceiling. Another exciting addition is a 48mm Med T mode, which seems to be a digital crop that mimics a telephoto lens, giving a tighter field of view without optical zoom hardware. This means more cinematic variety for aerial shots without sacrificing sharpness. G. I. M. B. A. L. Freedom perhaps one of the most creative upgrades is a rumored 225 gimbal rotation. This extended movement range allows for unique transitions from straight down. Shots two forward-facing angles without awkward edits. Filmmakers could capture smooth tilt sweeps, dynamic reveals, and fresh perspectives that were previously tricky on small drones. Obstacle avoidance in tracking the Mini 5 Pro is expected. To push safety and subject tracking further, Possibly with forward-facing LiDAR sensors in addition to visual systems, LiDAR's advantage is precise detection in low-light conditions. Making flights at dawn, dusk, or through dense tree lines safer and more reliable. Improved tracking algorithms should also help maintain focus on fast-moving subjects like cyclists, runners, or skaters without losing them mid-shot flight time and battery options or leaks indicate about 36 minutes of standard flight times, slightly more than the Mini 4 Pro's official rating. Rumors of 50-minute endurance likely relate to a heavier plus battery option, which could push limits, but at the cost of portability. Design and durability render images. Suggest sealed motor designs without the usual visible vent openings. This could mean better dust and moisture protection, increasing durability for outdoor and coastal flights. While it may slightly reduce cooling efficiency, trade-off could be worthwhile for pilots, who frequently operate in unpredictable conditions. What's still unknown? We don't yet have confirmed details on the exact weight. Onboard storage. Capacity, wind resistance ratings, or the price structure for different bundles. Connectivity details, like which version of OQZINC will be included, also remain a mystery. Release timing the initially rumored August 7th launch date now seems unlikely. Ports indicate DJI is targeting September 2025, possibly to avoid overlapping. With the Osmo 360 rollout and to manage supply chain issues, 
In the US, some DJI products have disappeared from store shelves, hinting at inventory clearance ahead of the new launch. Final thoughts if these leaks are accurate, the Mini 5 Pro could redefine what a mini drone can be. It promises professional-level image quality, expanded creative options, and advanced safety systems while still remaining compact enough to travel anywhere. DJI's silence might be strategic, but the leaked information is already building. Serious anticipation. Thanks for watching Technology in the Future. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to launch.